Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So I also wanted to do a brief video showing you all of the decks that I got in the month of December. Now, some of those were previously purchased decks that arrived in December. But other than that, they were decks that I just finally decided I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so, uh, the first one, and these are not in order. The Tarot of Mystical Moments. I've seen this so many times. And I have the Oracle. And I love the Oracle. And so I decided to get the, the Tarot. It's so beautiful. I hope you have a coffee because I got quite a few decks in December. Gosh, this deck is beautiful. It is so whimsical and colorful. And you know I love to digital journal. And these just make for the best pictures in digital journaling. So that's one deck that I just recently got. Well, I got in December. In the same kind of feeling as that. Because I do a lot of dream work. And that also feels like um, a very powerful deck for uh, helping me to reveal some of the reasons why I just had that crazy ass dream that I had. So this one was another one that I had seen and I thought, you know what, I'll try this too. The backs are so pretty. And I love this box size, you know. It's like Llewellyn. I don't know if this is Llewellyn. No, this is Schiffer Red Feather. But it's like that same size as the Llewellyn um, ones, which sit perfectly on my shelves, which I love that. But I love the ethereal feel of this deck. I'm not huge on the, the shininess. The only time it's really a problem is when I have my cameras going, right? My big lights. But these are much larger cards. You can see how big these are, right? There is absolutely no way of shuffling these regular. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so that's another deck that I got. Not I have not really worked with it too much. I have really dedicated the last little bit like last month of my um, work, my tarot work has been using the Golden Light Oracle and the Slavic Oracle. And I would like to say that I use tarot with them, but honestly, I've been using just more of the Oracle decks themselves because they're just phenomenal. I have used tarot a couple of times, but the majority of the time, it has been all... Um, just the decks, and I'm going to be doing a review of those. But I got this finally. I only got the first one. I looked at both of the editions, and I thought, do I need two of them? I mean, that's a lot of cards to use for your intuition, and they felt like a lot of the same. I could be wrong. It felt like a lot of the same artwork. Oops. But I think these are super cool. I was going through these already and, you know, looking at what I thought my intuition would tell me about this. And it's very powerful. And I love the artwork. I'm sorry about the lights. I mean, like, look at that. It's so beautiful. I love this style of art. Wow. Wow. 
So yes, the soul cards, and that was the first set. Soul cards one. So I got those also in December. Come on, Rochelle. December is the Tarot of Oneness. My goodness, this was a Kickstarter. It arrived and oh no, but I didn't back this on Kickstarter. That's right. I purchased it after the fact. I think it's because I had been uh, purchasing too many decks. I just, at the same time that this Kickstarter was going, so I didn't want to do it at the same time, but I definitely wanted the deck. And I know a lot of times the Kickstarters, if they get a big enough um, or plan ahead, they'll have leftovers that you can then pre-order. And I was hoping that that would be the case with this one, and it was. So I was very fortunate. I don't know if there's any still available. But, oh my goodness, this deck is I ordered this in November, though, I believe, and it arrived in December. So, yes, the Tarot of Oneness. I am starting to feel like I am running out of room in my witchy room for new decks. Finally, right? <laughs> yeah. So, another one that you guys have seen. I got this towards the end of um, December. And, gosh, I love this. I love this deck. This is so beautiful. This one is called Oracle of Great Mystics. And it's by Medicine, medicinethebrand.com. I did a full walkthrough of this and paired it with a bunch of different decks that I have, which is another thing that I'm so happy about that this artwork goes with so many of my other decks. It's very much my aesthetic. So I will leave a card up there if you're interested in seeing the full walkthrough and look at that gorgeous gilding. Oh my goodness gracious. So that was the, like I said, the Oracle of Great Mystics. Another one I got that I have wanted for a long time and finally just friggin' did it because I love working with oils and love working with herbs and stuff like that. And this one is called the Essential Oils or Essential Oil Oracle Cards. Look at the amount of stuff is on there. Like, okay, Enlightened for Frankincense. I am alone. Trigger statement. True statement. I am one with all that is. It says, Dear child, you are safe and loved as you continue on your journey of self-exploration. And then it's got the keywords up above for each one of them. But, I mean, the colors... It's just gorgeous. They're gorgeous. With so many different kinds of um, oils and stuff. So, you know, essential oils. So that's perfect to use um, to learn, but also as an actual oracle deck. So that's one that I got. Another one I got. And I am so in love with this deck, I cannot even tell you. The Modern Nirvana Oracle. Awaken your intuition and deepen your awareness. 50 cards and guidebook. This is by Kat Graham, Jennifer Sodini, Frank Alaridi, and Brian Wood. 
or Bryant Wood, illustrated by Natalie Miller. And this is uh, Chronicle Prism. This, I'm thinking about getting the, uh, what was the other one that they did? The Prism, Prism Oracle, I think. But this deck is so friggin' cool. The cardstock is beautiful. This just feels like such a luxurious deck. The coloring is right up my alley. The keywords are outstanding. Oh my goodness. I just, I am in love with this deck so much. And it goes with another deck that I recently got in January to go with this particular deck. That I had been seeing. I had wanted it for a while. I just hadn't, you know, pushed the button to buy it. But after I got this, all I could think was, I could, man, that'll work really well with that. And it's the tarot, buying a tarot to go with the oracle that I have. <laughs> All right, so another one that I got. And that might be it. Not like that's not a lot, but the Antique Anatomy Tarot. This is another one that I just held off for for the longest time. And I'm like, will I use it? Will I use it? Will I use it? But, and I know this sounds shallow, but oh my goodness, these are going to be beautiful to journal with as well. Just when you, you want something like this kind of artwork and it's just growing on me and I've been getting stickers that are more like vintage, the new tarot journal that I just created for 2023 which I'm eventually going to release. I just have been too lazy. That is all vintage-y, like, um, and I don't have my iPad down here so I could show you, but it is all vintage-y, um, like, stained paper and stuff. It looks really, really cool. So this will look really good in that as well. And I've got like this whole academia, like dark academia vibe going on in here, it feels like. So I just thought it would just be beautiful and a wonderful addition to my collection. And it's something different than what I already have. There's like nothing that is filled by this, this type of um, energy in my collection. So, and I think... I think that's everything that I got in, yes. I think that's everything I got in December. Other than I won a huge um, giveaway, but I can't remember if I got that in January or the end of December. I got, I won a giveaway from uh, uh, Chanel from Spirited Stardust Channel. She did a massive giveaway and so I sent, I think, three of those, gifted three of those decks thus far. I think there's um, at least one more that I want to uh, give away, but I have to contact the person still. But um, other than that, the, the other decks are just fantastic. Um, and then I got some new decks in January, which I'll be showing at the end of January. And also my birthday uh, it was January 16th, so I got a new keyboard for my iPad for down here, and it's also kind of like a vintage typewriter bit, so it all just goes in that same theme. So, anywho, those were all of the decks that I got and absolutely loved, and I, I did also get these. These were sent to me by the creator. Not to mention my Christmas gifts from both of my kids, but I think I got those in early January. I think they finally came in early January, not December, because, you know, shipping taken forever. But these two decks I also got sent to me by the creator um, for review, and I'm going to be doing those pretty soon. 
I love both of these decks. But anywho, so I did get these in December as well. And there are walkthroughs to both of those. I'll put those in cards or in links down below, okay? So thank you for spending this time with me, and I am sending you love always.